If you're looking for the most affordable solar generator with the most amount of benefits that's meant for 120 volt backup power, which is just your simple backup power, the Mega 2 is my number one option. I'm gonna show you exactly why in this video in detail. It's going through the specific items on why I think this is the best portable solar generator. What I'm referring to is a middle cap solar generator, and I'll have a link to my free solar generator comparison chart below this video. I compare multiple different sizes of solar generators, so it's an apples to apples comparison. We wouldn't want to compare this to a smaller or a larger solar generator because that's simply not fair. That's like asking which car is best, but the real question is for what purpose? Are you towing or are you looking for a fuel economy? This video is specifically about which solar generator is the most reliable for the price with the best features. I'm gonna save you a bunch of time right now. The Mega 2 is my number one option for that. You're gonna to wanna to stay to the end to see the last reason why I think this one beats all of the others compared to EcoFlow, Blue Eddy, Pecron, Jackery, all the other similar size systems. This is the one to go with. Feature number one is the battery expandability. There isn't a comparable middle cap solar generator that has more battery expandability than the Mega 2. Simply put, that's it. The Mega 2 uses this very flexible battery expansion cable, and you can see on the battery, we have another battery expansion port. You can have up to 15 expansion batteries on the Mega 2, and this battery is called the B2 Multi, and that means that it will work with both the Mega 2 and the bigger brother to this, which is the Mega 3. Each Mega 2 in expansion battery is 2,048 watt hours using lithium iron phosphate batteries. So the battery technology is gonna easily last you 10 years or 3,500 cycles, all the way down to 80% efficiency. Meaning, after 10 years of using it nonstop, every single day, hard, it'll be 80% as good as how it was when it was brand new. Now, in my opinion, it's gonna last much longer than that, but still, that's the rating. Every battery you add to the system reduces the wear and tear of each battery, therefore extending the battery life. No other system can have up to 15 expansion batteries. Reason number two is the expandability of the solar, because when you add an expansion battery, you also get the exact same solar input that you have on the main unit. I don't know of any other system, for example, the Delta 2 or the Delta 2 Max or the AC200 or AC200 Plus, the Explorer 2000, all of those other systems, I don't know of one that has expandable solar like this. Because reason number three on why I like the system so much is the solar input. Well over 90% of the time that you get a middle cap size solar generator, your charge parameter is gonna be anywhere from like 12 to 65 volts, usually 60 volts and up to 10 or sometimes 25 amps. And that's literally because that charge controller is super cheap to manufacturers. Opez didn't care about that. They wanted really good solar input. So they put in a charge controller that goes from 12 volts to 150 volts and up to 15 amps. That's the same size charge controller that is on a Delta Pro, which is absolutely considered a heavy cap solar generator much bigger than this. And they put that same charge controller into the battery so that way every single battery I add, I can easily get 1600 watts of solar input. It's technically rated to 2100 watts, but I've only ever gotten in 1600 watts. That means for all the battery expandability that I have, my solar charge speed stays the same if I add panels to each battery. Generally speaking, I use these 400 watt solar panels. The maximum voltage is 37 volts. So when I put four of them together, I'm at 148 volts. That gets me right up to the threshold of the 150 volts. And then these are gonna make about 12 to 13 amps. So I'm getting almost the full amperage and voltage into the Mega 2, which is gonna give me really fast charging. Another option is to go with a 200 watt solar panel. This is gonna have a voltage of around 21 to 22 volts and amps of about 10 to 11 amps. So the best way to use the 200 watt panels is to over panel. Because on a cloudy day, you get the same voltage, but lower amperage. So by doubling up the panels, I get more amps. So I would take six of these 200 watt solar panels, put them together in series in one group, and then make a second group identical, and then put those two groups together. And that's gonna give me around 120 volts, as well as 15 amps. It's okay if you go over the 15 amps, just don't go over the 150 volts. The other option is to go with a simple 100 watt panel. I like the 100 watt and 200 watt because they're more portable. And if you get these new patent pending solar panel legs that you can find at poweredportablesolar.com, then you can spend way less on a solar panel and make it portable with these legs 
compared to buying a foldable, fragile solar panel. I'll have a different video about that because those legs are awesome. But I could easily take six of these panels, put them into one group, and these are gonna make about five amps. So I'll be at about 120 volts and five amps for each group of six. I can do 18 panels or three groups of six, put that in a three to one branch connector, put that into each mega two and each battery, and I'm gonna get upwards of 1800 watts of solar input. Reason number four is the inverter capacity. It's 2500 watts. To some people, they'd say that's not a lot, but for a middle cap sized solar generator, that's perfect. Remember, I'm really focused on running a refrigerator, a freezer, Wi-Fi, fans, lights, the simple things for emergency backup power. We're not focused on running the entire house. And 2,500 watts is plenty to run all of those items, even including a portable air conditioner or a window air conditioner. And you have the added convenience of having this TT30 plug on here, which allows you to connect it up to an RV. Now my RV is extra efficient. I don't use the rooftop air conditioner. I added my own mini split and I run it off of the solar and battery system that I have on the RV. And I also swapped out my refrigerator for a 12 volt upright refrigerator. So both systems are extremely efficient. And this setup right here with just 4,000 watt hours of battery capacity, I can literally run my entire RV just off of this. That's because I made the RV more efficient. So you could save a lot of money compared to buying a really big system and just get a more efficient setup. It requires some work, but you can spend a couple grand doing that, save 10 grand on going with a bigger system, and it's just no brainer at that point. So the inverter is properly sized to the demand that should be required of it. And reason number five is the DC output. You have the exact same DC output on the main unit, and that's pretty common to find. 12 volts, 30 amps, that's great. You can wire it to a fuse block, run a ton of 12 volt equipment, or plug directly into it for like a ham radio setup. You also have two 100 watt USB C's and four 15 amp USB A's. You get a lot of power out of this whole DC section, but what makes the B2 multi battery so special is that you have this on the battery. If you wanted a DC setup only, then you can have all of that as well as your solar input and it works without the main unit. Now there are a couple of other systems that do have that option, but the fact that Opez has that on this battery and how affordable it is compared to the others is just so refreshing to see. And it is light enough that with the main unit and the expansion battery, I can bring these around my house pretty easily. And lastly, and possibly most importantly, is the affordability. There's different sales going on from Opez all the time, and I believe right now there's actually a Prime Day sale, so use the links down below. It'll have all the coupons automatically incorporated with it, and you can get major discounts on the Opez products. But even with all the sales aside, if you just compared everything to their typical pricing, the Mega 2 is definitely more affordable than the majority of its competitors. Especially if you compare the price with all these other things that set it apart from its competitors, that's the real reason why I like the Mega 2. I recommend it to people all the time. And that's just because it's a very simple system to use. It has a very simple app that connects up to your Wi-Fi with the system. You can monitor it anywhere in the world and it just works. Most importantly, it just works. It is not uncommon that I get a solar generator that after a month of testing it, it just stops working. So yes, this is Chinesey. I don't care. It is good quality in my experience coming out from Opez. Now the biggest brother to the Mega 2 is the Mega 5. And I have a video right here about it because I actually used a secret hack to get 240 volts power out of it, which makes it capable for me to run my entire house. So check that out if you're looking for a bigger system with a larger inverter and bigger batteries. But if you want something that's affordable and powerful and lightweight, then the Mega 2 is the one to go with. Guys, check out the links below so that way you get all the coupons and savings possible. If you have questions, please shoot me an email to info at poweredportablesolar.com. Most importantly, be prepared, have backup power. See you guys in the next video.